Barbara Rush, the Golden Globe-winning actress known for her roles in 1950s sci-fi horror It Came From Outer Space and primetime soap opera Peyton Place, passed away on March 31, 2024, at a care home in Westlake Village, California, at age 97. Barbara Rush graced the silver screen alongside Hollywood legends like Rock Hudson, Paul Newman, Marlon Brando, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Kirk Douglas, delivering captivating performances that have etched themselves into the annals of cinema history. After starting her career on stage at the Pasadena Playhouse and the Lobero Theater in Santa Barbara, Rush made her big-screen debut in 1950 after Paramount Studios noticed her abilities and offered her a prestigious contract, which launched her illustrious career in Hollywood. She made her big-screen debut, landing a small but significant part in the movie, The Goldbergs, which a film version of the cherished radio and television series. Rush catapulted to stardom with her pivotal performance in the 1951 Oscar-winning science fiction masterpiece, When Worlds Collide. Portraying the daughter of an esteemed astronomer, Rush's character played a crucial role in the narrative, endeavoring to alert mankind about the imminent peril posed by a rogue star hurtling toward Earth. This role marked a significant milestone in Rush's career. In the 1955 film, Captain Lightfoot, Barbara Rush portrayed Aga Doherty, the spirited love interest of the rebellious leader Captain Lightfoot, played by Rock Hudson. Her portrayal adds emotional depth, resonating with themes of love, loyalty, and sacrifice amidst Ireland's struggle for independence, enriching the film's romantic and adventurous elements. Barbara Rush often recalled her Hollywood beginnings with Rock Hudson, where their camaraderie and laughter on set defined their shared journey as acting newcomers. Rock's infectious humor and talent infused each moment with joy, forging a bond that transcended their professional collaboration. In the 1958 movie, The Young Lions, Barbara Rush plays Margaret Fremantle, the wife of Marlon Brando's character, Christian Diesel, a conflicted German soldier. Margaret's role illustrates the emotional strain endured by those left behind during wartime. Rush skillfully portrays Margaret's inner conflicts and strength as she confronts love, loyalty, and loss amidst World War II's turmoil. In the 1959 movie, The Young Philadelphians, Barbara Rush starred as Joan Dickinson, an influential figure within Philadelphia's upper echelons. Alongside Paul Newman's character, Anthony Judson Lawrence III, she grapples with the intricacies of high society and legal conflicts. Joan, serving as both a love interest and a symbol of elite aspirations, is brought to life with depth by Rush, who portrays her with intelligence, grace, and resilience. Barbara Rush portrays the role of Margaret Maggie Galt in the 1960 film Strangers When We Meet, directed by Richard Quine and co-starring Kirk Douglas. In the film, Margaret Galt is the wife of successful architect Larry Galt, played by Kirk Douglas, and the mother of their son. Maggie is a character confronted with challenges in her marriage and attraction towards Walter, portrayed by Ernie Kovacs, a neighbor who also has marital issues. This film was one of the rare collaborations between Rush and Douglas, but their joint appearance in Strangers When We Meet remains remembered as one of the highlights of their careers. Barbara Rush collaborated with Frank Sinatra in two notable productions, the 1963 comedy Come Blow Your Horn and the 1964 Rat Pack musical Robin and the Seven Hoods. Despite her excitement about the opportunity, Rush admitted to feeling apprehensive about working with Sinatra due to his unconventional approach to rehearsals. Coming from a theater background, Rush was accustomed to thorough rehearsals before filming scenes. She confessed. I am from the stage I really can't do a scene unless I rehearse. The prospect of not rehearsing with Sinatra left her uncertain and anxious. She candidly expressed her dilemma, revealing, I didn't know what to do. 
Through these diverse roles and partnerships, Barbara Rush showcased her versatility as an actress, proving her ability to shine alongside some of Hollywood's most iconic stars. Her transition to television included memorable roles in popular series like Batman and Peyton Place. She made a memorable impression in Batman, as the cunning and manipulative Nora Clavicle, whose machinations posed a formidable challenge to the caped crusader. Her portrayal of Clavicle as a villainess with a penchant for deceit and manipulation added a captivating dynamic to the show's roster of colorful characters. In Peyton Place, Rush portrayed Marsha Russell with a delicate balance of strength and vulnerability, navigating the tumultuous waters of small-town life with grace and poise. Her portrayal of Russell as a woman grappling with personal demons and societal expectations showcased Rush's ability to infuse her characters with depth and authenticity, earning her widespread acclaim for her performance in the iconic drama series. Despite her success in film and television, Rush remained dedicated to stage acting, earning awards and accolades for her performances. In 1970, Barbara Rush achieved another milestone in her illustrious career when she was honored with the prestigious Sarah Siddons Award for Dramatic Achievement in Chicago Theater. This recognition came in acknowledgement of her remarkable performance in the leading role of 40 Carats, where her talent and dedication illuminated the stage, captivating audiences and critics alike. Never one to rest on her laurels, Rush continued to push the boundaries of her craft, bringing her extraordinary talents to Broadway in 1984 with her one-woman play, A Woman of Independent Means. In this captivating production, Rush mesmerized audiences with her compelling portrayal of a resilient and determined woman navigating the challenges of life and love with unwavering strength and grace. Barbara Rush graced the screens of the soap opera All My Children as Nola Orsini, a captivating character she embodied from 1983 to 1984. A captivating facet of her portrayal is that Nola Orsini served as the nefarious mother of one of the show's central figures, Erica Kane, brought to life by Susan Lucci. Nola's character is rich with complexity, characterized by profound emotions and a convoluted past, which adds depth to her interactions with Erica and other characters. Her stint in the soap opera garnered high praise from viewers, elevating the show's popularity and keeping audiences tuning in day after day. In 2007, Barbara Rush took on the recurring role of Grandma Ruth Camden in Brenda Hampton's acclaimed series Seventh Heaven. As Grandma Ruth, Rush brought warmth, wisdom, and a touch of humor to the beloved family drama. Following her stint on Seventh Heaven, Rush continued to showcase her talent on the stage, making occasional appearances for the Theater Guild in Orange County, California. Rush's personal life encompassed three marriages, with actor Jeffrey Hunter, publicist Warren Cowan, and sculptor Jim Grzowski. Her daughter Claudia Cowan shared a profound message on her 97th birthday. Described as golden and immortal, Rush leaves behind a legacy of extraordinary performances and a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss an update from us. Thanks for watching.